my flu and sushi like nothing in this episode we're gonna talk about um volume cube that is uh that's a new note in uh, blender 3.3 and yeah i've been away for a while and i'm now i'm back i'm gonna try to take a look at the volume cube so if you search for volume cube and try to find information you might actually find some cool stuff from twitter or reddit or maybe blender artists forum so with the uh, with a volume cube, you get like a like a quick way to create a volume three D grid um, from any object. Okay, so let's start with this default cube. Gonna create a geometry nodes, create new, shift A, volume, and there you go. There's volume cube. There's other things that's dealing with volume, as we already know. Okay, so we have volume cube, and if you shift A, we want to remesh this. We just simply use volume to mesh. Okay, nothing seems to be exciting yet. Uh, it's a struggle of a kind of like a volume cube. We used to have just like the default cube, and we like uh, to just displace it, so it's it is kind of like making something that's a little bit more interesting. Let me save this very quickly. I'm just gonna call this struggle oops struggle of default cube I, I got a new keyboard here so it's a bit slow to type struggle of default cube so back in the day okay we have a just a, the default cube is very basic the first thing you want to do usually with blender <clears throat> is to play around with the modifier uh subdivide the cube maybe using simple increase the resolutions okay and then you might want to displace it using some kind of texture and noise maybe okay not noise but maybe like a cloud and you get back to the modifier and you play around with the strength etc increase the subdivisions and right click shade smooth so back in the day of course this is the first thing you probably want to do default cube is becoming something that's a little bit cooler like a terrain anyhow now back to geometry nodes we have volume cube with the resolutions you can kind of guess what it does there's a minimum maximum of the cube you can actually make it so it's not so cubey for now we just keep it simple we know it's between minus one and one and there's the density and there's this background um so volume density per voxel okay one equal float okay background so it's between zero and one the background is the value for voxels that's outside of the cube interestingly enough you can use this value to kind of flip or yeah flip the value invert it so in order for this to be a little bit more interesting the first logic uh, logical thing to do is to maybe just use it with noise texture which is like a 3d noise and plug this into the density if you plug this into the background it's gonna seems to be giving an error so plug this into the noise there seems to be nothing much but yeah you can see there's something underneath so perhaps we can use this with map range or maybe try the threshold so the threshold also works but for now I'm gonna play with the map range it's similar to threshold we just try to get a value that's so that the volume cube uh, volume cube is uh, s slowly becoming something like a little bit like cheese okay so this is the definitely the first thing you will discover you will encounter so it's just a volume and you can play around with the minimum and maximum of the voxel it's a little bit like the like a bounding box or domain of a fluid so whatever you do inside 
whatever volume value that you add into the domain will generate mesh and here you can set smooth if you are actually totally new with blender and totally new with geometry nodes you can start with a volume cube okay there's a lot of things of course that generate geometry uh, and it's still i still need to refresh my brain but volume cube volume cube is actually really cool because you can um later on i will talk about this sdf thing from william um, there's a lot of nodes here so basically you can think of you can think of any 3d geometry objects and then you can kind of mesh and mesh them together into some kind of volume that you can later remesh so that's basically um, yeah from the struggling default cube you can turn it into any 3d objects in a way that's the that's the logic as long you can generate it um, using volume okay I talk about background a little bit so and you can seems to be f able to flip the value okay so it's like on and off <clears throat> so I'm not gonna do too much of crazy stuff but yeah we have noise texture there's not other options like uh, we have 4d we can animate the w as you already know and we can use time okay so that's cool so it's really uh you can make something that's totally abstract looking remember that you can also mix and match the this 3d volume and we cannot see the value but you can see the result um, okay there's distortion as well so noise have this distortion value that that can add to the final result and play around also with the map range of course we also have Voronoi Voronoi texture kind of like a bubble or cell and we can use the distance value over here and we have something that's kind of Voronoi-ish usually it's a it's looking a little bit like bubble if we increase the resolutions maybe increase this to 64 yeah so you can see bubbles or cells being generated and it is it is fully 3d if you have 3d printer you can use this volume cube to create something that's interesting it's still like a it's looking like a cube but you can create like a poros some kind of a interesting porosity underneath and you know, who knows that kind of like a foamy looking 3d objects might be like a like a can behave kind of interestingly um, if you print it out okay for a noise texture is a little bit more interesting than noise as we already know we tried this in the past we can try f1 f2 not much difference smooth f1 okay smooth f1 is pretty interesting especially when you actually flip it okay okay let's try you can try a different one yourself and sphere radius might be super interesting to look at okay let's try this so we can scale it there's this minimum maximum and this is something that you can animate so with the uh, with n sphere radius you can kind of creating something that's being eaten for example if this is like a chocolate you can kind of animate this okay something that's being eaten so let's see what else and sphere radius randomness okay there's a for have this randomness value that 
by default is one. Okay, so what else that I haven't talked about? Oh yeah, you can you can mix and match value. That's the this is the most logical because you can try to multiply the value and then try to find like a sweet value to generate this abstract looking objects abstract looking geometries okay so it's a yeah a way we can use volume to generate something from this default cube in the past remember uh remember how this thing is just like a like a geometry in the past we try like a distribute points on faces maybe and then we can use point to volume and then volume to mesh remember um, this is also something that you can play around with and I believe you can merge volume but well, I don't know I don't know yet volume to mesh Yeah, we can mix and match the volume eventually, I believe. So for now, we just have like this volume cube and we can disturb it, uh, disturb uh, the volume using noise like like this. For now, we don't have merge volume or kind of like a Boolean volume yet. You can try looking into this GitHub and try to use the shader and to convert it into geometry nodes there's a lot of nodes here that you can play around with um, for now okay uh, yeah this is what we have this is a point to volume volume somewhere here I want to join the volume I wonder if we can do that for now but Volume cube. Well, anyway, volume cube is super handy for now. It's simply you can think of it again, just like a struggle of a volume. It wants to become something, so you just plug in like a noise, and suddenly it's looking a little bit more interesting. If you use a four D as well, you can you can animate it. If if it's slow with four D, you can try like a three D. But then you, you use the position and just use vector math to just push the position. So this is not a, not a wrong way to do it. 4D of course is going to give you a different result. But still this is pretty cool. Something that you can animate. You can even plug in like a noise vector into this guy. Or you know just just combine plug this in and animate the seams if you look at um, an older video there is a way actually you can turn any 3d objects into a volume um, I need to find that video and then I will make another video so you can sort of combine mix and match the volume so you can start for example with Suzanne currently if we use Suzanne and then we use this uh, the same geometry nodes Suzanne will become default cube or just a volume like a like I said like a struggling volume cube that's trying to become something so the monkey head disappears completely but there is another way you know to turn this monkey head into a volume and then you use another volumes and to mix and match the volume um, yeah but anyway I have to make probably I need to make another video on that so volume cube is still really really new play around with this it's a uh, it's pretty exciting to have this uh, 
there is an example okay if you go to twitter anyway if you search volume cube on twitter very likely you will find other blender artists uh, other blenderian that's playing around with the same nodes for example this one by weather chick 227 it's using the positions and vector rotate and then gradient and then just multiply the value this will create a color oh yeah it will create a density for volume and then you will end up with this kind of this looking it's like a storm like a tornado or something that's maybe kind of thing that you want to try um, and you don't always need to turn the volume into mesh sometimes you just want to keep it as a volume and then you use a shader just to yeah to to make it looking like a fire or things like that okay so geometry nodes and volume cube so that's my first look into volume cube hopefully you find this useful um, and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye